If you love those frozen ice creams on a stick, but you're trying to eat less sugar, I have a great option that you're gonna love. Frozen chocolate covered bananas might just become your new favorite. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Christine. And today I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make frozen chocolate covered bananas with fun little toppings. I found all of these healthy ingredients at Basil Bandwagon Natural Market. So first you're gonna to wanna to freeze your bananas. Of course, we have to peel them first. And you'll want to just trim off any bad spots. My bananas have gotten a little bit ripe, so I've got some browning going on there, but no worries. If you have to remove too much from a banana, then I'd say just don't plan on having two usable halves, just go with the good half. And this makes a good little munchie. So now you're going to put your bananas onto a stick. So you can either use a popsicle stick like I'm using or the uh, wooden kind. This is from a popsicle mold. And if your bananas break apart a little bit like mine is, just sort of you know rub it together. It really won't matter. And these are long sticks, so I'm not going to stick this all the way through, otherwise it would probably pop out the other end. And there are shorter sticks you can use too, you can use little ones like this. Now we're going to put these into a container that's lined with some parchment paper. And we're going to freeze them until they're completely frozen, so this will take a couple of hours. There we go, and ready for the freezer. So before you pull your frozen bananas out of the freezer, you want to have all your toppings ready to go. Here I have some shredded coconut, a little bit of flaked sea salt, I've got some fun little sprinkles. These are naturally dyed sprinkles from Supernatural Rainbow Star Fetti, really fun. These are also naturally colored Let's Do Organic Confetti Sprinkles. So that can make a pretty topping as well. You can use freeze-dried, chopped up, um, you know, dried raspberries for color. This is some bare baked crunchy organic apple chips. I thought that would be fun and different. I've got these in my mini blender top. I'm gonna grind those up and you'll see I'm gonna keep a little bit of the texture and not have it too powdery. I also have some pecans and some pistachios. I'm just going to chop them up. These I roasted at 350 for eight minutes just to get them nice and toasty and we'll just chop them up just like I am with the pistachios. And in the meantime, over here, I also have my chips melting. So I've got um, kind of a makeshift double boiler setup where I have um, some water warming in this pan underneath. Probably should have used a slightly bigger bowl, but uh, that's okay, this will work too. So I have a bowl sitting on top of it and um, I'm just melting the chips over kind of a medium simmer. This will take maybe four minutes, five minutes, something like that, and you can whisk them or stir them once in a while. And this is about a cup of chips. I can always add more if I need to. We'll just see how far this goes for the bananas. I think our chocolate is ready to go. Oh, and we wanna add the coconut oil. I almost forgot, that helps to keep it a little um, softer, not quite so crunchy. So we're just gonna add a little touch of our coconut oil. So now I'm stirring in the coconut oil and this is virgin coconut oil. And I'm using about two tablespoons. Okay, so I'm almost ready to get the bananas out. We are almost totally set up here. I've got my silicone brushes. I'm gonna use those to brush the chocolate, the melted chocolate onto the bananas. I've got a piece of wax paper here to put the finished coated bananas on too. I have a working plate where I can um, put the chocolate on them and then I've got all my toppings laid out here. And as I said, the only thing I'm missing that I might wanna potentially add is some freeze-dried um, chopped up, maybe ra red raspberries would be pretty, but this is a nice selection of toppings anyway. And um, these are the ground up baked crunchy organic apple chips. So they don't really look, I thought they would look a little bit more pink from any, from any red in the skin, but uh, anyway, they're gonna taste great, give a nice apple flavor. All right, so here's the finished frozen banana, ready for coating. 
So now some people actually just take the banana and dip it into the chocolate. I like to take a brush and just brush it on. I find that then it doesn't bring the temperature of the melted chocolate down as much. Oh, <laughs> if you see a hand floating over here, that's my daughter. Here, you use this brush. She could not resist joining in all this banana fun here. Yeah, that's the idea. You basically just sort of coat it all over with the chocolate. Now, <laughs> this is the trick. While it's, you know, because it sets up quickly, so while it's still wet, that's when you want to sprinkle on any toppings. And there you have it. Easy peasy. Now we're just going to put on our wax paper to chill a little more and we can pop them back in the freezer in case they soften up at all. And then just keep repeating this process with all of the bananas. Of course you can keep them plain if you want, if you don't want to put any toppings on. can't stress that you enough that you really do need to work quickly with the uh, toppings because the chocolate does not stay liquid very long. So we had enough toppings and chocolate for even more bananas. So this was, uh, if you remember, we started with four bananas. We could have used five or even six bananas probably. But what you can do is you can um, pour this into a plastic container let it cool and solidify and then you can remelt it after freezing more bananas so i would say yeah we could definitely freeze up a few more bananas the fun thing is you can also slice the bananas into just little bite-sized pieces and do the same thing and then you get even more chocolate in a bite so you can freeze little um, banana bites and i'll put that in the recipe how exactly to do that and we have leftover toppings which can also be saved and you even have a, a mixture of different toppings here instead of an everything bagel you can have an everything banana just the best recipe ever? I was so excited when I first discovered it and I hope you love these frozen chocolate covered bananas as much as I do. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to find out about new videos when they get posted. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon! Bye.